we had a couple great stops that we really needed to get. Um, we had a, a bunch of great possessions where we just didn't make shots. Um, we had some free throw opportunities that you know that we didn't convert on. Um, you know, you you can't you you can't discount. Um, how incredibly difficult it is to play against Mississippi State. Um, you know, we we talk about all the time how you know how hard it is to win in, in this in this environment, and um, and you need everybody. You need, you need everybody on board. And um, we just had we just had some kids tonight really really struggled. They hadn't struggled all year long, and. Um, and most of the time, it doesn't bother you when you struggle during the season. But in this, in this venue, you know, at this time of the year, you start thinking about what's at stake, and and, and maybe we're just not ready for this. Maybe we're ready for everything else, but maybe we're just not mature enough yet for this. You know, maybe all our young kids needed to experience this so that we can come back and really be ready for this. As your players came out of the locker room just now, Kia Nurse, Gabby Williams, who put on a performance of a lifetime, tears, they've obviously been crying. What did you say to your team and handle this with them? Um, you know, basically, uh, my message was, um, you know, college basketball has given them a lot. You know, um, they've sent a lot of kids to the locker room over the years feeling the way they're feeling. We've had a lot of kids leave the court and go to their locker room and feel devastated about what happened against UConn in the Final Four. And um, now they're starting to see what that, what that is like. And, and now they're, they're part of what a normal college experience is, you know? And I reminded them, this is not normal what we've been doing. This doesn't happen in real life. And what you're experiencing now, this is real life. And what we do going forward will probably be, you know, more important than anything that they did this year. I know you have great respect for Vic Schaefer. Yeah. What was that like coaching in the game with him tonight after last year you beat that team by 60 and, and how he and his group turned this around? Well, you know, the, the, the thing that almost goes to what, I, you know, what, I, what we just talked about, I think when something like that happens, you go home and you have two choices, you know. I can either um, hope I don't play UConn again, or I can put myself in a position where we play them again, and this time be completely different. And that's what they did. You know, he's got a great team. He's got all the ingredients that you need. Uh, I remember saying to somebody, you know, all right, well, what scenario could you possibly see yourself losing in? Well, a couple big kids in the lane, shots that don't drop, and guys that we can't handle. You know, and that's exactly what happened. And uh, um, I, I just can't say enough about uh, the job that he's done. And not, and not this, just this year, because this year he's in the limelight, but since he took over at Mississippi State, I mean, uh, it's nothing short of remarkable what he's done. And uh, I was really happy for him today. Thank you, Coach. All right. Thanks, Al.